to apply the penile traction device. It's a combination therapy used with the Zyaflex injections for Pyronis disease. So if you've been prescribed to use um, penile traction, this is usually placed on the penis one to three days after your second injection of Zyaflex after your cycle. And what you'll get in the package is a strap. You'll get a manual pump and it's used like this. Okay, I'll show you how that works. You'll get three cups, a small, medium, and a large size. You should get um, the silicones associated with each size cup. I only have two here to show, but there should be three. You will get a hood silicone piece, and that's the only thing that should come in the kit that you order um, for the penile traction device. I'll now show you how you apply the traction device um, using a penile model. So the best way, I'll use this penile model here. The best way to apply it is to first start with a clean, dry area. You're going to apply the hood silicone piece to the glands penis or the head of the penis, okay, like so. You don't need to stretch this down to the shaft or the base of the penis. It's The intention is only to provide a suction at the head of the penis or the glands penis, so it's not necessary to stretch it all the way down the shaft to the base of the penis. It should come just under the corona or the base of the head of the penis. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to select the cup size that works with your anatomy. The cup size, um, the actual cup size, the intention for the cup is not to fit all the way around um, and down onto the shaft of the penis. So you want to just select a cup that has enough room um, in order to fit the glands penis into the cup. For most patients, this is probably the medium size. Um, however, you can start with the small and see how the suction feels and move on from there. I'll start with the medium size cup and show you how you'll assemble that. So you'll take the cup, you'll take the silicone that is associated in size. There is a small ridge around this silicone piece. It's sort of like a lip to the silicone. So you'll want to place that around the cup. You'll kind of form a nipple, okay, like this. You want to then stretch this piece around to the base of the silicone and you should wind up with something that kind of looks like a belly button, okay? There should be like an out pouching of this silicone piece. So I'll show that up close. So you do not want to, for instance, stretch this all the way down. You want to just provide enough to where it can latch on to the hood silicone. Once you've attached this piece, you'll want to stretch the silicone so that you can insert onto the glands penis like so. And when you give this a snug tug, it should remain on the penis. Okay, so what you do not want to do is to just stick the penis in like this because then you won't, there will be no traction there. So you do not want to just stick the penis directly in. You want to pull the silicone apart and then place onto the glands penis like that. Okay, and then to remove this, you never want to yank because now there's suction attached here. And so if you yank, you're going to cause pain. So what you want to do is place one finger, one or two fingers into the silicone, create an air pocket, and you'll be able to easily remove. Most men report that they find the easiest way to do this is in a sitting position or standing and kind of let gravity um, allow for the penis to assist them in getting it into the cupping device. Okay, now, sometimes you'll find that the hood silicone piece, um, just related to the fact that there's a lot of moisture in this area, may slip off or it might not um, 
suction weld to your skin and that does sometimes happen so this piece is not extremely necessary to use how and if you cannot use this then you can apply the cup in the same fashion stretching the cup putting it onto the penis okay still want a snug fit once you've done that to create a good suction onto the bare skin of the penis you'll want to attach the manual pump the manual pump all you do is press it in so you'll attach it move this closer you'll attach it like this you want to just hold the cup firm on the penis and you'll just push you don't need to screw or anything like that so you'll just push that on okay while holding the cup steady you'll take your two fingers and give it two good pumps one two you'll feel that the glands penis will engorge into the cup and you only want to apply two to three pumps no more than that the goal is not to cause pain or um or to enlarge the penis in any way. It's just to provide a good seal around the silicone piece. So once you've done your two pumps, one, two, you're gonna just hold the cup steady and peel away, okay? And then again, to release the suction on this part, you can just slip in a finger or two, create, an air, um, create some air in there, and then you'll remove from the penis. Okay. You want to wear this device um, at a minimum of three hours, but you can wear it overnight while sleeping for a maximum of eight hours or more. Um, one thing I should mention is that once you have the cup onto the penis, you'll then attach the strap. So the strap comes in kind of three sections. So you have the strap, one piece here, you have an extender piece here, and then you have the actual piece that hooks onto the cup once it's attached to the penis. So in order to um, get the best traction needed for your particular curvature, um, if you have an upward curvature, you're going to want to place the strap around the thigh right above the knee on the opposite side of the curvature. So let's say you have an upward curvature with lateral involvement to the left, you'll want to place the strap on your right thigh right above the knee and then you would place the attachment piece onto the strap to hook on. Okay, if you have a downward curvature, you'll place the strap around your abdomen um, and you can move it up as you feel fit in order to provide enough stretching. Um, you don't want to pull the penis to the point that it causes pain. You just want to feel enough um, stretching that you can feel the stretch in the penis. So that's how you assemble the traction device. I'm going to show you one more time how you assemble it. Okay, and I'm going to do that with a separate model. This model simulates more of a flaccid penis, which is what you'll be applying the traction device to. So I'll show you how that works here. So first you'll get your hood silicone piece and you're going to place that over the glands penis. You'll select your cup size that's appropriate taking the lip, you'll create a nipple, you'll fold that over again, and create another lip that looks similar to a belly button. And you can kind of shimmy the silicone so that you get a decent lip here. Okay, and it will look like this. And then to apply, you're going to use your fingers. Do this side right here. You use your fingers to stretch. And then you'll probably have to use some of your other fingers 
to help put it onto the glands penis. Okay, and you want to make sure that there's enough traction there that it's going to stay put. Should I need to get more suction? And if, if you feel like it's not getting good suction, just put a finger, remove it, take it off, and try again. Okay? I will, you can use the pump device even with the silicone hood silicone. It's just usually not necessary. So I feel like maybe I need a little bit more suction on here. I'm going to apply my manual pump. I'm going to hold my cup secure. Give it two pumps. One, two. Hold my cup secure. Release. Attach my strap to my thigh or to my abdomen, depending on what I was um, advised to do by my urologist. And then you're going to clip on the strap device and place onto the leg or onto the abdomen, okay? And you're gonna do it to where you feel a good stretch, but no pain. Once you're ready to remove the strap, you can, you're just gonna push in and snap off. To remove the cup, you'll want to insert a finger or two, release the suction, pull away from the penis, and then remove the hood silicone. You can wash these in warm soapy water to keep them nice and clean, and then just leave them in a cool dry place to dry. And that's it. That's how you apply the penile traction device used as a combination therapy for Pyronis disease. Thank you.